We're starting this new season of Trigicon's World of Sports Afield by featuring two of the world's most coveted alpine species, as well as the remote and storied game fields of Kyrgyzstan, the destination for today's adventure. Ryan Wood is the Director of Product Marketing at Trigicon, and today Ryan finds himself on the business end of his scope on what he himself called the hunting opportunity of 10 lifetimes. Besides the cliff-dwelling ibex that call the rugged peaks home, Ryan is about to experience the hunt for what many serious hunters call the holy grail of mountain hunting, the Marco Polo sheep. I cannot think of a better way to dive into hunting adventure than heading uphill after Marco Polo sheep, and that's exactly where we're headed next on Trigicon's World of Sports Afield. So this is, uh, I think, day three now of the uh, <laughs> of the adventure. So left Michigan on Thursday. It's Sunday, and uh, we're about 317 kilometers southeast of uh, Bishkek uh, yesterday morning. So uh, we've got about another six or so hour drive ahead of us. Um, it's gonna be pretty cool. And uh, we're right now about 6,500 feet elevation. And uh, Mete said we're probably should plan around 10,000 feet elevation so we've got some climbing ahead uh, this afternoon as we get into camp. So we made it, seven hours later. We had almost uh, 13,000 feet in elevation, um, but it was rough going, it was awesome. Uh, just two tracks and off-road and crossed some streams the whole time, up and down. But uh, we just got to the lodge, met the rest of the team and gonna get settled in and confirm zero on the rifle here in a little bit and first day of hunting will be tomorrow morning. So looking forward to it. Make two shots or three. Yeah. As the director of product marketing for Trigicon, Ryan Wood is, as you can imagine, a serious shooter and hunter. Despite hours of intense shooting practice preparing for this hunt, Ryan followed rule number one after international travel by insisting he check the zero of his rifle in camp. 
This was especially critical because the point of impact in the thin air of extreme altitudes can be far different than it is when zeroed in at lower elevations. This is a common mistake inexperienced hunters often make, but Ryan takes his shooting and training far too seriously to fall prey to such an oversight. Yeah, it's in the, in, in, just next to Bullseye. That's Bullseye, it's right here, okay? Stop now while we're ahead. Make, make it one more. No. We're ready. Every hunter, if they hunt long enough, will look back on their career and remember a few situations where they said, man, it all came down to that one shot. Sheep hunters in particular know that feeling well, and mountain sheep will always provide those gut check moments. Sheep require your best effort in both your physical conditioning and your choice of gear. And nothing in this game is more important than your choice of scope. You may be in the high country fighting the rain and ice of Alaska or the Yukon, the rugged peaks of the Rockies, or enduring the blistering conditions and heat mirages of the Sonoran Desert. Your shot, if you earn one, better be from a rifle topped with a scope you know, and more importantly, trust with this once in a lifetime encounter. My own sheep medicine, a 300 win mag topped with a Trigicon 4 to 16 by 50 AccuPoint. A perfect choice for the mountain sheep, wherever you find them. Okay, so it's uh, day one of uh, actual hunting after several days of travel and uh, talking to uh, the guide and uh, Mete, uh, my PH, we're going to go after the Marco Polo first and then uh, if and when we're successful, uh, I'll go after the Ibex. So clearish skies right now, we'll see how that, uh, what that means for the actual hunting. And, uh, the guys will bring you horses before us. If we see something big, then we uh, try to approach with horses because there's no snow and no fog. Uh, we don't want to be compromised, so it's better to go with horses, slowly, slowly, from the bottom of the creeks. Uh, that's that's the plan. Well, earlier in the season, they're they're at higher elevation. Higher elevation, crowded groups, bigger groups. Then they become like six, seven, five. As the weather, yeah. as it gets colder, not the, not the weather. When the rut comes, okay, close to the rut. Sheep hunting to many is more than a hunting experience. It becomes a burning passion, often bordering on obsession. 
The wild sheep of the world are different in many ways, but all have common realities the hunter must consider. Altitude and rugged mountainous country are common denominators on most sheep hunts, yet the breathtaking beauty of high sheep pastures provide one of the greatest lures that pull the sheep hunter one oxygen star step at a time uphill and into their domain. The eyesight of your quarry is on par with a pair of 10 power binoculars, necessitating that the successful sheep hunter carefully negotiate the mountain as you try to spot the sheep before he becomes aware of your presence. Every sheep hunt is different, and each will present both challenges and rewards. And certainly, Ryan felt intense excitement and a natural sense of trepidation as he anticipated a special encounter in the mountains looming above him. this four animal bets down then according to where they bet down we're gonna make a plan right now we can't do anything we, we, they probably will go this way and then then we can ride the horses we're gonna wait here until they bet down that's the plan I mean look at this you know I know I'm supposed to be focusing on the animals but I can't get over the, the country that we're in it's just amazing this is unbelievable. The country, the animals, you know, coming in on horses this morning. We're gonna wait for this group to bed down and then we're gonna try to get back up on the horses again, but I just can't, I can't get over the fact that I'm actually doing this. the other side of this hill so we're gonna ride horses down to the riverbed and turn right to the other side of this mountain and try to find the same group awesome or we may find another one but you said you know that in this group there are several shooters yes there were like the four of them were shooters one of them was very big yeah
steep inclines up and down. So we're on the stalk of that the Marco Polo we saw earlier. And our guides have just gone ahead for a minute. We'll probably leave the horses here and then move move up in just a minute. Trijicon's World of Sports Afield has been presented by Trijicon, Brilliant Aiming Solutions, DSC, Conservation, Education, and Protecting Hunters' Rights, Hornady, Accurate, Deadly, Dependable, Voight Harness Company, Mud River, Travel, Train, Hunt. Ripcord Rescue Travel Insurance, Sports Afield Trophy Properties, The Wildlife Gallery, and by Sam Hunter Training, because you only get one first shot. It's at 400. 400? Yeah, 400. Till the broadside. Can you see him clear? Uh, yeah. Okay. Shoot. If you see him clear, shoot. Okay. Alright, shoot. You nailed it, man. <laughs> Good job. Thank yes. you. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Good. Bro. We nailed him. We nailed him on the grass. 400 yards. One shot. <laughs> Congratulations. That's awesome. Well, we earned this. Okay. That's some good work in the same the same group we saw yeah, earlier. The same group. That's went all the way around that mountain. Yeah. Good uh, shooter. One shot. Good Ibex. Good uh, Marco Polo. <laughs> 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 all right, I got my horse. Okay. Thank you. Yours. Yeah. Okay, man. Oh man. Walking can be close. Walking? Walking? Yeah. Well, you're ready. Beautiful ram. Made its work. Oh, that's ah. incredible. Ah. 
It's incredible, you know. It's the same. What's great is it's the same group of rams we uh, spotted this morning, and uh, you know it took half a day, but man, just awesome that we could uh, go around the other side of the mountain and get up on them while they were bedded down. There were five good. There were five shooters in that group, but this is the one we wanted, and uh, it's just awesome. You know, 400 yard shot. It was uh. It was nice, you know, he made it easy, but uh, man, it was great. Now we just gotta recover him and get him down this mountain and uh, take care of business. So I can't even believe I'm, I'm sitting here holding a Marco Polo, what a, an incredible hunt more than I could have ever uh, dreamed of and just a beautiful old ram you know he got in position he was at 400 yards and uh, dialed up and uh, scope just performed it was it was perfect and uh, could never dream of doing something like this so it was just what a, an amazing opportunity yeah so hunts like this don't just happen it takes a lot of people of course, uh, Trichicon, I'm just blessed to be here because of Trichicon, but really wanted to uh, send a, a shout out to WTA, a great group, and uh, just did a really bang up job making sure this got organized and uh, everything came together. So, really appreciate it.